Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to introduce you to a online uh, docking uh, server um, called MQ. Um, this is a very uh, brief introduction um, and if you like it then they have much more to offer. So uh, if you want to just try um, do one docking, um, you don't have to make an account or anything. You can just go ahead and do um, and follow what I'm doing by doing only one docking though. Uh, if you want to do more, then you should sign up. Uh, so you click on this sign up for free. Uh, enter the information and then click on sign up. You will get an email in your inbox uh, to activate everything. So I have already made an account, so I will go ahead and log in. Uh, when you are logged in, uh, this is what you will see as home page. Uh, on the left here, you have tutorial videos um, with Ed the Chemist that they have created themselves. Um, so he, after watching this video, if you want to see more, there's plenty of resources here. Um, but we will go ahead and do a simple docking. Uh, for this, you click on lead optimization, one click docking. And you will get this uh, window here where you can draw the molecule that you want and on the bottom here find a protein that you want. So for this video I have chosen um, a human progesterone receptor uh, whose structure you can get on the PDB that I talked about in the previous video. Um, so I'll get a link to that. Uh, so the PDB is a huge database of crystal structures of proteins and most of them have been co-crystallized with a small molecule. So the progesterone receptor has been co-crystallized with a uh, progesterone molecule. And if you want to see what it looks like in 3D, you can go ahead and click here on structure on the left panel under the picture. So here you can rotate around and also zoom in to see the progesterone molecule inside the binding cavity of the protein. Um, every time you try a new docking uh, software, the first thing you should do is to make sure that um, the software is good at self-docking. Self-docking means that you take your target protein um, and you erase the molecule it has been crystallized with um, and you give the pro only the protein to the software and then you dock that molecule back inside the binding cavity so you take its ligand and dock it back into it um, which gives you the self-docked uh, result and then you can compare the crystal structure with the result given to you by the program. If they are similar, that means that the program is more or less reliable. If they are completely junk, then it gives you, um, it tells you that maybe this program is not good for um, your case. You should look into something else. So this is exactly what we will do right now. We will take the progesterone receptor with progesterone, erase progesterone, and then dock it back inside. All right, going back to MQ, uh, to get the progesterone molecule, you have several uh, ways of doing it. You can draw everything by hand over here, or you can upload um, uh, like a code name for it. To get uh, these smiles, cast number and whatnot, there's a very good website, um, PubChem, where you can search for a compound. And then here you will get all the code uh, and whatnot that you wanted. I find that one of the most reliable uh, codes are either these that I highlighted over here or um, the, where are they? Isomeric smiles. You can pick and choose what you want. So I will go with the choice number one. 
copy it in here and click on refine in drawer. So here you get your progesterone molecule. Um, then to select a target you can either upload the PDB file if you already have it on your computer or select from their list. They have a plenty of uh, stuff to select from but I will just write in the PDB code that I selected. Everything's correct then I click on select. Now I'm ready to dock, uh, then I will just click on the dock button. Uh, so I have already tried this molecule, so I'm just going to go back and show you what the result is for the sake of time. So when your uh, docking is finished, it should take about you know, uh, 30 seconds to about a minute, depending how big and flexible your molecule is. This is a big molecule, but it's not very flexible, so it doesn't take that long. Uh, you end up at the result page. Uh, here you see the structure of your molecule on the right and the docking score uh, on the left. So the docking score is this numerical value that tells you how well your molecule fits uh, in the protein cavity, protein binding cavity. Um, the lower the number, the better uh, the fit usually. So here it's the case. Here I have minus 11.5 for the best pose. Now why are there three poses if it's only one molecule? Is because the binding cavity is not super tiny and this molecule can fit in there in different ways. So to see what's going on with the different poses we can click on visualize pose and each pose is basically how uh, the program decided to fit your molecule inside the binding cavity. So this is what it would look like. You can turn around, you can zoom out and zoom in. So the green wire here is the backbone of the protein, so the main part of it. And what you see in little uh, thinner lines are the amino acids in more detail. Okay, so if we compare this to what we got on the um, uh, PDB from the crystal structure, we see that more or less it's a similar uh, positioning. We have the uh, ketone in the back. Um, oops, sorry. Over here, the methyl groups pointing upwards, so it seemed to be doing okay. This is a qualitative assignment uh, um, assessment of how it's done. If you need something much more uh, precise, then you should download this PDB. You can click on it over here and then use um, other visualizers that al allow you to um, superpose uh, the two structures and get the RMSD uh, value. But that's for another tutorial. So qualitatively we got everything okay. Now um, let's go back and look at another molecule that I have tried here. Uh, let's say I wanted to see if I can add this huge bulky thing uh, at the tip um, to replace um, this part of the molecule and I wanted to see what happens uh, to the docking uh, pose. So I will show you my results over here. Here I have two poses. I'm gonna go with the lower energy one. So five. So now we can see that the, the ketone is still in the back, that's good, that's the kind of the main interaction. But now the methyl groups are at the bottom and I have all these bulky parts sticking out of the protein. So if I zoom out and I can plot the protein surface over here on the right, this will take a moment to calculate. There you go, we can see it appearing. So now if we rotate, we can clearly see that my molecule is actually sticking out of the protein cavity. That's not a good sign. That's why its score is so high. 
this you can see the bubble around my progesterone when it's inside the cavity and this whole thing is sticking out so this is not a good uh, ligand for this protein and that's why I got such a high score so if we want to try um, and see if we can make uh, a better uh, molecule having a better score you would uh, for example take your progesterone and then take it as base and modify something on it and see if you can do a better job so here I'm just copy pasting the code from progesterone and I will erase for example this part which seems to not be directly interacting um, with the inside of the binding pocket and I will rigidify a bit the structure actually like this and maybe add um, some nitrogen group here because why not and now I want to see if this uh, would fit well or not for this I will get back my protein target and click on Doc. I hopefully if I haven't made any mistakes I will get back an answer there you go so my docking has finished I have uh, four poses but their score is all higher than 11.5 minus 11.5 so um, that means that my molecule wasn't better than the initial progesterone molecule so you can play around um, with your structure uh, to see if you can get a better score um, on this I think I'm done uh, showing the basics of how uh, this is performed and next time I will show you maybe how to do a structure-based virtual screen i think that's the next logic step <laughs> all right so see you next time